بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so the next thing we'll we'll try to get into the basic setup. Like we have already seen the IP addressing in our previous classes. So here, what I'll be doing is we'll be setting up a basic connectivity of four computers. Like I'll be using one switch, and then we have four four computers connections, and then we'll assign the IPs one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one one dot two one dot three one dot four. and then we'll try to verify the connectivity so we'll configure the ips and then we'll check the connectivity between all the pcs by using a ping command so ping command already we discussed in our basic classes so these are some of the screenshot what generally can be done so this is your rj45 connection which connects on the back side of your computer so this is your computer card nic card where you connect this rj45 cable this is your utp cable which connects and we are assuming the other end other end goes and connect to the switch so this is on the switch side the other end which connects on the switch side let's say so we assume this can this is something done so like if you are taking an enterprise network basically this wiring is done by the electricians so you will you already have this wiring done so you just need to ensure that this cable is perfectly uh, you know configured or set up so we'll assume that way so i'll be using a simple software called packet tracer to do this labs uh we can you can actually simulate some devices like here you can see the routers routers will be using them later on and here you can see the switches now um, so typical switches you can just drag and drop any one of the switch here and then we can also simulate some computers here if you come down here you'll find the end devices computers here you can drag and drop uh, simulate some kind of computers here or even some laptops or specific devices even server or even ip phone printer you know different devices here and this is a connector where we can use this connector to connect the devices and here this is like a default cable or you can use there are different types of cables you'll find so this cable represents your straight cable this cable represents cross cable again if you want to be more specific if you normally if you move the cursor you should be able to see this cable type so that's what i assume here if i move the cursor generally if you move the cursor you can see this uh, written here so if you if you just come down and see here it's a copper straight cable when i move the cursor this is a copper straight cable and this is your proper crossover cable basically and again this is your fiber cable and this is a different cable again this one a uh, coaxial cable like that so you can select any one of this cable like here i'm selecting this straight cable which connects from my computer and again on the computer i'm connecting my fast ethernet port the rj45 connecting to any one of the port of the pc or the switch so typically the switch supports uh, multiple ports uh, mostly this if you see here mostly these are like fast ethernet ports now fast ethernet means again it supports 100 mbps ethernet supports 10 mbps fast ethernet uh, supports 100 mbps and also you will see gig ethernet gig ethernet means they do support uh, 1000 mbps so like 1 gig so typically all are rj45 connectors and mostly this high speed ports we use to connect between switch to switch okay so here i mean you can connect to any port right now but later on when we get into some advanced concepts like vlans uh, at that point of time you need to know exactly on which ports you are connecting so i'll be using this straight cable connecting from fast ethernet to any port on the switch and a straight cable connecting from fast ethernet to any port on the switch here 
So likewise, I'll be doing the same thing here. Or you can use this default cable. This is like default cable, which will automatically connect from Ethernet to Ethernet, depending upon the device type. So just to quickly, you know, process, you know, I don't want to delay. So you can also do this way. So the same way uh, in the production scenarios, again, we don't really do this kind of cabling. You already have a cables, uh, cables which are already connecting between the switch towards the end, end desk. And from there you can connect. So basically you don't do the cabling uh, physically. So there will be already predefined or the pre-configured cables in your production or the enterprise networks. So the next thing we, we need to go and specify the IP address. So in a normal computers, we go to our network adapters and we, we already seen how to assign the IPs. We go to TCP IP and we'll assign the IP subnet mask and the default gateway if required. So similar way, if you want to simulate here in the packet tracer, we can also do that by clicking on this computer. And if here you have multiple options. So if you go to desktop, now here you'll find the IP configuration options. Now this is equivalent to your, this option. So here we are not using a physical uh, direct computer here. So this is same as, as if you are going into the into your property. So this is the equivalent. So in real devices, we do this way. So we are trying to simulate the same here. So give some IP, like I'm giving 192.168.1.1 with a default subnet mask. Gateway address is nothing but your router address. So here we are not using any routers. So basically we don't need a gateway at this point of time. But when we get into routing concepts or for internet access, you need a router again. So we just leave that as it is. Okay, so we'll go to the next computer. And likewise, we will be configuring the IP address on the other computers as 192.168.1.2 and then also 1.3 like that. So we'll go and assign IPs. So we already learned the basics that if you want all these devices uh, to be able to communicate with each other, they must be on the same subnet, which means the network portion has to be same. So they must be in the same range. If you remember, we already did enough subnetting and IP addressing classes in that we've already seen that. So if you want, you can also use subnets. I'm not using subnets here. Let's make it simple with default IPs. Likewise, you go and uh, do that. And now if you want to test the connectivity, generally in the computers, we go to the command prompt and we use ping, ping tool. Now this ping tool, here we can use IP config to figure out what is the IP address we are using. Like this is my Wi-Fi adapter, the wireless adapter on my computer using this IP. And the gateway address, gateway is nothing but your router, the wireless router which I'm using here. And if you want to test the reachability between your device and the router or any other device, we use a ping command, like I'm using ping here. So here you can see we are getting a reply. So we already discussed this ping tool already in the previous uh, basics. So I'm not getting in details of this right now. And the same way if you want to do in the software, so we'll be simulating the same way. Go to the computer, uh, click on the computer and then go to the command prompt. So this is same like what I did on the physical computer. So exactly the same. So we say IP config to verify my interface. What is the IP and the subnet mask configured on that particular uh, device? And also you can verify IP config slash all to verify more information. And then we can use ping command to test the connectivity with other devices. Like in my case, the IP address of this device is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. .1 you want to generate a ping request to test the connectivity between them. So you can see I'm getting a reply means it's a confirmation that I, I do have reachability between these devices here. Now, typically in the production networks, when you already have a connection, you can test the connectivity between these devices by using ping commands, and that's what we did here.